Downloading an e-cockpit project to one of our WAGO program controllers offers you a few beneficial options. Here we will explain the differences of those options and how they can benefit you and your application. Once you have an e-cockpit project ready to download to a controller, simply select the Connect or Program Download button in the software. Here you will be asked if you want to download to your device. Downloading in this method means that the project is only being placed in RAM memory. The controller will run this project after clicking the start button, but upon power cycle, it will resort to the previous running project. This can be beneficial and relatively safe, because if the changes you made aren't what you expected or are unwanted, a simple power cycle gets you back to the PLC's previous program execution. To have a controller boot up to your project, you must also click on the Boot Application Download. This type of download places the project into flash memory. Now when you cycle power, this project will always boot up and execute. There is no way to upload this project back from the controller to your PC to view the logic and make changes at a later date. This makes it a safe way to protect your proprietary code that is running on your controller. The last option for downloading that we will discuss is Project Archive Download. This type of download will collect all the files, libraries, source code, and data relative to the project and download it to the controller. One benefit to this is that later on, you will be able to upload the source code from the controller and modify it. As you have seen, downloading to a WAGO controller does provide you with a few options. Whatever options you require, we have a solution. Contact your local distributor or WAGO's tech support to easily assist you.